Hello, my linen things, family and friends. Welcome back, y'all. Yeah, we just left. Yes, your girl is still in the same. Remember, we're recording back to back. So I wanted to bring you guys really, really quickly um, what I found on clearance at Target. So I did do a stop off at a local Target yesterday, and I wanted to share what I got, y'all. I love all the after Christmas sales, honey. That is the time to shop. So, um, yeah, I, I just went, I think I was going into Target for something else, but your girl wound up shopping. I really wasn't going for that. I was literally going for some household things and found some things on clearance that I had to grab. So we're going to jump right into my Target clearance haul, y'all. So in the thumbnail, you saw that thumbnail. I was holding this. So y'all, this is a, I want to say tray. Well, let's see what they're calling it. Um, it's not a tear tray, but it's just like a tray. And it says ice skating rink on it, but your girl is not going to really be showing that. I grabbed not one of these, but I grabbed two. Why? Because uh, another thing, which I don't think I showed in my last video of what I got for Christmas, I got a lot of um, Bath and Body Works, okay? And because I still have some Bath and Body Works items, I have a turntable thingy already but the thing is full so i was like you know what i'm gonna organize again <laughs> all of my bath and body work you know items and i'm gonna use these as well as the one that turns and hopefully hopefully they'll i'll be able to store all of them and be able to see them get my hands on them so these were in the five dollar uh, in the bullseye section for five bucks but of course they were half off so i paid 250 for each so yay for that that is one of the items or two of the items I got on clearance. I think everything in my bag is clearance except for a couple things. Um, Next, I have been eyeing these. I, I did see, I think I see my girl Andrea Nicole try these with her family. Um, I have been wanting these. I did pick up the chessmen, of course, because I made banana pudding with it. But I love eggnog and I kind of wanted to try these. So these went on clearance. And so I was like, let me grab them up now. I think I got them for like two bucks, like $1.98 or something like that. So yes, I grabbed these up for very cheap. And y'all know those cookies now are upwards of three to five bucks a bag now if they're not on sale. Another yummy, a goodie item, which after I get done with this video, I'm probably going to go and make me a cup of cocoa. Um, some of the favorite day coffee, well, not coffee or cocoa toppers. So it's just a marshmallow, but it's marshmallow, chocolate and peppermint. Oh, I can't wait to top my hot chocolate with this. I love mint cocoa i think this is going to be so good this is another thing i think i grabbed for no more than a dollar um or two bucks or something like that i don't see the price on here but this was also um on clearance like i say for a dollar and something so i definitely had to get that the next item that i grabbed that was on clearance y'all already know i love me some candles so this is a opal house two wick big candle oh i love it y'all and it is gingerbread frosting yes i was so excited to find that y'all y'all know i love candles i have candles going right now i'm burning right now my uh, lavender marshmallow from bath and body works <laughs> burning right now got it smelling so good um i love a candle and so these this size is usually 10 bucks this was on clearance for five so they do actually have one that's smaller for five, but y'all, I was able to get this one and I love it. Ugh, me and these bakery scents, I don't know what to do, but your girl is going to be, I am just, I'm going to be set with candles for a while. So grab that. The next item that I grabbed on clearance, just some red plates. I think I, I got these for a buck. Um, these are by Spritz. I should have grabbed, you know, more, but I just grabbed these because I'm thinking maybe um, I'll use them for New Year's because um, I don't know. We are not like really decorating because it's still like Christmas decorations up. I'm not sure when I'm going to be taking my things down, but I just grabbed these. And maybe we'll use these um, for New Year's for a buck. They were on the clearance rack for a dollar. This next item blew my mind. When I say I was stunned to catch this. For such a wonderful uh, price, I was shook, y'all. Your girl was shook. So you, if you watched my last video of what I got for Christmas, one of the items I got my daughter purchased for me was some Native Sugar Cookie Body Wash. 
but look what I found on clearance. This one is the Native Spiced Eggnog. I did smell this way before um, I saw it, but this was on clearance. You will never guess for how much. So as I was saying in the last video, these are almost 13 bucks a, a bottle. This was on clearance for $4.37. You know your girl had to grab. Oh, it's sweet. It smells like eggnog. I, I mean, I don't know if people want to smell like eggnog, but hey, I loved it. I was so excited to find it. So now your girl has two of the native like holiday scents. Wow. And you couldn't beat that. I couldn't beat that with a stick. Four bucks and 37 cents? Yes, ma'am. Had to grab. Had to grab. Love it. And this is a 18 fluid ounce bottle. All righty. Can't beat that. The next item I got, it is not a clearance item, but it is a great priced item. Um, if you watched my walkthrough from yesterday when I went to my Target, they had these cute, cute, cute little bottles that you can put like on a tear tray or um, just like I could put it above me on a shelf or something like that. So I did grab the red and the pink adorable like oh my gosh i could not leave these there these are so so pretty look, look at that like the bottle is kind of giving me like the chanel square and then you got the little uh hearts on top like yes y'all these were one dollar one buck grab them up if you see them at your target and if you like decorating um i now i gotta pull out my valentine stuff y'all i gotta do a quick um inventory i don't think i have a lot of valentine's things but i do have my little corner that i set up and i probably will be setting it up because these got to go somewhere those were cute not on clearance but a great great price for such a cutie cutie item um and then this item is the last item that i got from target's clearance i do have one item that i picked up at the five and below because in this area five and below is literally steps away from my target um but this is the last item that i grabbed out of target and it has to be my favorite other than the native. This has to be my favorite pickup of the day. Y'all, I have never, for one, I've never seen anything like it. Look at that. So it is a hair kit, okay? And you guys know I style my own hair. I do my own hair. I do my own protective styles. This thing here has everything that I need. So it does have the braiding gel in here. It has some cute little um, de decorations that I can put like on my braids if I like. It also has the foaming mousse because after you braid your hair, you you know, you have to kind of do a little mousse thing. And it comes with a comb with the rat tail. When I say that I was like so excited to get this, I was just, I, I cannot wait to break into this and use this. So this was on clearance for, a, I think, $7.49 or something like that. And one of these items, like this braiding gel alone can run me six, $6.99, $7. So for the price of this one item, I have all of this. Score, score, my favorite find of the day. Um, this is it's called Kiss Colors and Care. Um, I, I just love that they put all of this in one gift box. This is another thing I like around Christmas time. Um, if I remember, I do try to check out my targets because these kits are so amazing. And you can get like four to five items, something that may be your fave, and get it for such a great price where sometimes during the rest of the year, you're probably paying that price for one item in a box when you're getting like the whole box. I've found things by Cantu and like, like three and four pieces right after Christmas. So check out your stores just to see what they may have on clearance. It may be something you were looking for and now it's half off and may even be more than half off. Um, but yeah, so happy I came across that. And then last but not least, I was saying that I did stop off at five and below. I think I literally only bought two things out of five and below. I just was trying to see what they had. Um, I can't even remember what I went in there for. I just like to look around in there. Um, I wanted to show you guys some things in five and below, but I saw the 12 days of socks and come on, it's, it's 12 pair of socks y'all for $2 and 50 cents. So this was on clearance for two bucks and 50 cents. They show you, sorry if my light is glaring, but they show you all 12 pair of socks. 
and even though they're Christmas, your girl can still rock it. So I can either keep this and do it like the last 12 days up to Christmas next year, or I can use them, use them, bum around the house in them or whatever. It's 12 pair of socks for $2.50. So your girl had to get that as well. Y'all, I should be like pooped with shopping because like every day we have been hitting maybe the mall or the movies or something, you know. Whew, it, it has been a fabulous Christmas. And for you guys, you guys who have been with me um, since or a long time, you guys know last year Christmas was nowhere like this. Nothing like this. Um, my oldest daughter, if you guys don't know and you're new here, she has a condition. She has lupus. And last year she had a, I guess, an episode and she was hospitalized around Christmas. Actually, she was in the hospital and did not get out of the hospital until like February. So her New Year's was there. And then she actually didn't even really know it was Christmas. It was like one of the saddest years for us. So I am extra, extra happy that she is, you know, healthy, doing pretty good. Um, of course, she still has her good and bad days dealing with lupus. But I thank God she is not hospitalized this year. Um, and she's able to like experience, like I said, going out to the movies, the girls got a chance to experience a Bulls game. Yep. The Bulls won that night that they went to the game. We also watched the color purple and it was amazing. And I do want to just kind of touch base a little bit more on the color purple, just in case you have not seen it yet. I want to say, cause I think a lot of people are thinking that it is a remake of the color purple, the movie. Please don't mistake it for the movie. This is a remake more of the musical that was made probably about 10 years ago. Um, and so it's more of the musical and it is a musical. So if you don't like musicals, you know, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I do still implore you to go and catch this movie because though there is a uh, times in there where they sing, they're not just singing. Um, there is like acting and just so much going on. Um, I had so many different takeaways from the movie that I just like one of the things was like sisterhood and just how our, you know, black women who some people had nothing and how they had to come together for one another um, and just stick with one another and help one another out. And I felt like this movie also kind of explained a little bit more um, just to be fair. I remember watching the movie as a kid or in the eighties and it was kind of traumatizing. Like the, the original one, it is hardcore. It is, there's some sad parts. There's some gut wrenching parts that I will never forget as a kid. And then as I got older, because it was a classic and I loved it still, and I did read the book, but when I read the book, I was way younger. So there probably were some things I didn't understand, but I felt like this remake did touch on a little bit more of the book um, by Alice Walker that I read years ago than the movie in the eighties. Um, because one thing that got pointed out was, you know, if you noticed uh, Nettie, which is Celie's sister, had like a lot of complexion. And I don't know, you know, why it was like that back in that day, but you know, people of lighter uh, complexion tend to get treated a little bit better and things like that. And so it's like, she probably didn't feel equal, but the two sisters loved each other so much. Um, and though, even though, even with Celie, I feel like we see all the things Celie went through in the original movie, um, as well as in this one, that's kind of more geared toward the the musical, but you also, I felt like I could see what Celie went through when it came to, um, like her loving the Lord or God being in her. I feel like, because in the musical, which I don't want to give too much away, um, there's like this presence of her mom. And I don't ever remember that from the movie, um, happening. I love the fact that they kind of brought in a mom figure. So someone that Nettie and Celie, you know, were thinking about and because she, you know, her, uh, her mom teaching her about God and things like that, even though she went through these gut wrenching things in her life, she still believed God would be there to help her. And he did, of course. Um, I just feel like this musical, it just had us like, you know, I, I reared my girls up in church. And when I say we, you want to dance, watching this movie you want to cry watching this movie you want to um get up and shout in this movie like it, it has you on this emotional roller coaster but it's just such a great piece of work a great piece of art so if you have not seen it please go see it um I'm a theater mom my, my younger daughter did theater from like middle school all through high school so 
and I love musicals. I love theater though. I love plays. So this didn't bother me. This was in enriching to me. I absolutely loved it. But I feel like even if you don't like musicals, you're still going to like this because it's interesting and it keeps you on the edge of your seat as well. Um, so yeah, go check it out. And it is a star studded cast, y'all. Star studded cast. One of the people that surprised me um, in the movie was Dion Cole. So it's like Dion Cole plays the dad for Celie and um, Nettie. And it's like, we're so used to Dion Cole being this funny guy. Um, and sometimes you can get typecasted and you, you know, you feel like all this, this person can play is funny roles. When I say that man played that serious role, he played that role, guys. Oh my goodness. He just, everyone did amazing. Everyone did amazing. So please do not be afraid to go see this movie if you're interested in that type of stuff. Thank you guys. I didn't mean to turn this into another review. I just kind of wanted to put that out there um, again because the movie is just so good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my clearance haul from Target and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.